All right, lots of people asking me how to make the Kellogg Sword. So right here, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make it. First thing you need is a scimitar. And this sword you could get from the merchant on Dead Berg. It sells for, I think, around 600 souls. So it's pretty cheap and easy to get. Next thing you want to do is upgrade it to plus 5. At that point, you want to modify the weapon to plus 6. And as you can see here, I realize this blacksmith doesn't modify it. But if you talk to this blacksmith here on that parish and give him the large ember, you can modify weapons from plus five to plus six. And once it's at plus six, just upgrade it again up to plus 10. And to upgrade uh, from plus one to plus five is a total of nine titanite shards. And from plus six to plus 10 is a total of another nine large titanite shards so at this point now you got it to plus ten you gotta head all the way back to the Nor blacksmith and once you're back at Nor blacksmith go back to modify weapon and at the modify weapon menu you wanna press right just like that and it's gonna say Kellogg sword of course you need the Kellogg soul to modify it and you get that soul from the blight town boss the spider queen as you see here, to upgrade the Kellogg Sword, you need D Demon Titanite. I'm going to make videos later on showing you guys where to find these Demon Titanite. So that's how you bind the Kellogg Sword. It's very easy, very simple. I suggest you do it as soon as you get up to the Blacksmith and Anor. And just look at this sword. Like when you attack that red flame, it's just sick. It's not just how it looks, but this sword is kick-ass. It does a ton of damage.